and I'm Midnight. And I'm Blaze. And welcome to our Let's Play of, like, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire with the screaming Kyogre in the background. Yes, that is our intro. <laughs> we just had the, okay, okay, airing out some dirty laundry. We have recorded this episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire 10,000 fucking times. It's actually been about four times. Ten thousand and four. No. Because we kept changing things and things kept not working, and so this better be the last time. I surely hope so. But now we just, like, like ten seconds and do our last try. Midnight's all like, that's not our intro. And I'm like, check, check, just check all of our footage before this. That's, that's our intro. Shut up. We have a triumphant Latios. Wait, we're not showing this. Why not? <laughs> We've shown like, it every time. No, we haven't. We showed the intro with Birch. We have not shown the full yes, intro. Yes, we have. Well, that's too bad because we're not doing it this time. I'm the one in control now. Yeah, so our first run of this game, you're going to be like an iron-fisted ruler with this game. At least I was fun about it. <laughs> Fisted. Oh my god. <laughs> So, we, when we originally tried to record this game, I was the one playing, and Midnight here put all the pressure on me. She's like, catch that Pokemon, and catch that Pokemon. And I'm like, I don't want these things on my temporary team anyway, why are you making me catch them? Because they're cute! Shut up! That, and I have never been super reliable in playing Pokemon games anyway, and I just don't think... Well, I do think there's a formula to Let's Playing them. I don't have it. So he stuck it on me. Banana I didn't, beard! I didn't stick it on you. You stuck it on me. I did not. But I appreciate it. Because I wanted to play this game anyway. Well, good for you. I'll probably be the one covering all the Pokemon games, because I know how! Ha ha ha. Don't look at me like that, I love you. You're being very mean. No, I'm not! Am I a boy or am I a girl? Well, everyone seems to think I'm a boy on Twitter and stuff, but I am, in fact, a female. M-I-D-N-I-G-H-T. That's a story right there. What's a story? All of our just shenanigans on Twitter oh and my God. Reddit. So, I pretty much have to tell people on a daily basis that I am, in fact, a girl, and Blaze is the boy, and I'm the one doing the socializing. I think it's funny because... Because the Let's Play world is generally inhabited by men, and just it's just a 98% male world in the realm of Let's Playing, so everybody on Reddit and on Twitter was just assuming at any time Midnight would post something as, oh, me and my boyfriend, me and my boyfriend, me and my boyfriend, would just assume that, that I'm we were a guy gay. and that we were gay, so I guess that means I'm the receiver, aren't I? <laughs> I've noticed something when I was playing this earlier just to test it out. See, I didn't make a big deal because you touched the light. Shut up. Mine was funny. Um, you actually, when you start as the female, you're on the left side of Little Root, and then you go over to the right side. Like, you're in the left house that was Birch's house when you were a boy playing. Hmm. It's really weird. Like, it kind of threw me off. Er, that is weird. You're, you're in the right house instead of the left house. Or whatever, but, you know. But it, your mom's does, the same. But the house is flipped, you'll see it. Because it totally threw me for a spin when I was playing originally. And there's one thing I want to do pretty much right off the bat that we didn't do in our former recordings, and it's kind of a necessary thing. And that is changing the text speed to fast. It makes oh, things so yes. much better. Because we're not going to be reading the dialogue as is. We're just going to comment on it on occasion. Because it's Pokemon. It's relatively it's understandable simple. dialogue. Hey, you fuck know, you! You know, it's stuff like... <laughs> That's what I, that Machoke said. But the dialogue in this game is nothing above, like, shorts. They're comfortable and easy to wear. You know, so it's like, why worry <laughs> about... I didn't get what you were saying at first, and then I understood what you were referencing. Okay, so, now that we've done that... You see, it's sideways, and... Yeah, that's weird. I don't understand why they would do that. I don't feel like it would be any easier to code, but whatevers. I'm not the programmer here. Okay. I like how all, you know, I wish that this happened in real life, that all of my stuff was moved in 
by somebody else. For me, yeah. Oh no! Something happened! Oh. Is it a soap opera? Is that what you wanted me to see? Somebody have a baby from somebody else, but it was really somebody... A third somebody? That's pretty much every soap opera ever. And then somebody oh. and then somebody dies and was replaced with their evil twin, but then oh, that or, somebody comes back. Or they went into a coma, and now we have to figure out what they did before they went into the coma. Hey, I'm gonna break into your house and rob you. Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, okay. Wouldn't that be great, just an addition? <laughs> who the hell are you? <laughs> it's a hat. I always thought it was hair when I was yeah, younger. Yeah, me too. I think that's a dumb hat. <laughs> it is pretty dumb. It's like all spiky on the back, but it serves no purpose for being spiky. Oh, so his bag is so much more convenient than hers. Hers is like a fanny pack, but literally attached to her fanny instead of her front. That's technically where it's supposed to go. Nobody does that, though. That's where it's supposed to go. People are just lazy and <laughs> use it wrong. Oh no, I forgot something, and I'm gonna make a dumb face. He doesn't make nearly as dumb a face as she does. Though. Oh yeah, because I was going Hur! during the recordings every time she'd make it. So it's pretty much pretty much not explained, but if you then go up here, there's a little kid that's like, "Oh my god, somebody's screaming!" I can hear someone screaming. Okay. <laughs> Number of fucks given, none. I was playing with Trico in my test file because I was going to use him as my starter, but Trico is actually really weak. Yeah, Trico is a bad Pokemon. Sorry to all of those who like Trico, but I'm picking Mudkip because he's easier to work with. Yeah. Trico's fun. He's fast. That's all he's got going for him. Unless yeah. you get a good nature, he's going to be hell to raise. And even if I did, it doesn't really matter who I get because my starter actually isn't in my final team. So he's basically just here for the first gym battle. Sacrilege. Gym battle. I know. Shame on me. I must not be a real Pokemon trainer. This actually happened to me on more than one occasion. That I've replaced uh, replaced my starter with something else before I even reached the Elite Four. Mm. Because I think starters are kind of overrated. You know. They are, but the reason why everybody uses them is because they're useful. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we saved him. Oh my god. Hey, Blaze, you remember the fact that I pointed out that when your hair's longer, you look like Birch? Yeah, if we ever go to like a convention or something, I'm going with him. With the lab coat and the shorts and the sandals. It's a very simple persona to pull off. But those, those like safari green shorts are kind of gross looking. Yeah, they look khaki ish to me. I think they look green. But it's like, I can totally pull off... I've already got the stature. I can easily pull off the hair. I can shave down my beard oh, to Oh, it's a female! That. Holy crap! Sorry about that. Uh, quick technical difficulty. What? You didn't, we could have just cut out the naming sequence, no. then we wouldn't have had the... It doesn't matter. People have to understand the technical <sighs> issues happen, but we corrected it properly. But anyway, it our mudkip is Delilah. One. There wouldn't have been one! Shut up, there. We could have cut it out. Nobody would have known. And... Increase special defense and trait of speed. Eh, not really the best. Ah, it's a sassy girl! That's happened last time we did this. Yeah. But, um... Not really the best, but then again, it doesn't really matter since it's not my final teammate. Did you notice that the little kid is gone? I think Birch, like, stole it on the way back and is keeping it stole in his it. lab. Well, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. It's, right it's just a desk. little kid. Kids don't really have gender. They're all about the same till they hit puberty. Kids are all androgynous. <laughs> oh my god, it's a wormful. So we're going to be cutting out most random encounters unless it's, like, the first random encounter with a particular Pokemon. But we need to get Delilah some levels. Or, you know, if we're, like, on a tangent or whatever. So Yeah, so we don't want to break up the commentary. We would rather keep something in than take away something important. Yeah. Plus, if it's a Pokemon that we can kill in ten seconds anyway, there may not be a reason to cut it out. Especially if we're already talking about something. 
Yeah, but if we're just sort of sitting around going, what the hell do we do now? Then, yeah. Well, I'll honestly be using repels a lot, though. Once I get my team. Or even before I get my team. God damn it. I didn't think about it. Okay, so. We got a a attacked by another Wormple. So, we didn't feel like dealing with that. Yeah, like... <laughs> Like Midnight said, she'll probably be using a lot of repels, and before the video card crapped out on us, um, I was going to mention that just like in previous, well, technically later installments, because this is just a re-release of the third gen, um, repels are almost mandatory just in any Pokemon game, especially later. Um, I've been playing uh, Pokemon White version a lot lately, because I had never played a Gen 5 game, and we found it for cheap. And Midnight had only ever owned black. And so I'm, And I didn't want to lose all of my awesome Pokemon Life Legendaries yeah, and stuff. So, so I'm like, okay, I'll I'll whatever. And then I tried fifth gen, and while I do really like it, it's fucking random encounters, man. They are pretty ridiculous there. I wonder if I could beat Bre Brendan at without... level six. Yeah. Probably. Let's go for it. Do -do 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 -do. Just moving right along here, cause uh, when I was record, when I was playing, this was like a level, like episode two exclusive thing. Both times, but I uh, I think that faster tech speed is also a big part of it because oh, yeah. we're not sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah. However, you can just zoom through the text in these ones, can't you? Mm, you still have to wait for it to all hit the screen before you can skip. Uh, so if it takes longer to do that, then yeah. Your Trico is a level 5 and Trico sucks, so good luck. Ow, it's faster than me. I don't like <laughs> but that. But it is weak as yeah. all hell. Look at that! Yeah, I I am not a big fan of Trico. I tried, I really did, it just didn't work out. I know people who like do exclusive exclusively pick the grass starter, and honestly, for a while the grass starter has kind of got the short end of the stick. Bulbasaur is pretty cool, but Chikorita was kind of eh for me. Um, Trico, obviously. Um, I never used Turtwig, so I have no opinions on that. Um, I don't even remember the fifth gen grass starter. Do you? Um. God damn it! Stop moving so much. I didn't move. And no, I don't remember who the 5th gen water type is. I don't use it. Uh, not water type, it's the or grass water type. type. The grass. Oh, Snivy. I'm Snivy. currently using that. Right. Forgot about Snivy. How did I forget about Snivy? Snivy's kind of cool looking. And useful. Because we got, like, new moves for grass type. Oh, yeah. Grass type honestly didn't get its buff until 4th gen anyway. Well, you know, first gen was actually really useful for, like, sort of turtling, because what you could do was, um... I don't know what turtling is. Like, basically just a defensive tactic the whole way through. Oh. Because you could leech seed, poison powder, and then just do, like, a weak, like, cut or tackle or something. So then they're constantly taking two things of damage after each round. Hmm. And then it doesn't matter what your strength is, because uh, Venusaur was a defense and special defense tank. Yeah. Well, I was always just privy to, when it came to tanks, I was always just privy to actual tanks. <laughs> I've said it before. Just a tank Pokemon. I've said it before that my, <laughs> yeah, get Metang in here, Metagross or whatever. Because I've made it especially clear in the past that um my favorite defensive, my favorite tank Pokemon of all time is Fortress. It only has one one major weakness, and that's fire. It takes quad weakness to fire. But you can put toxic, protect, spikes, and fourth move. <laughs> that's such a douchey thing to do. Oh, God. Mom's interrupting us. This mom, not my mom. My mom, I think, is asleep. <laughs> what an adorable Yay! Pokemon! Rude. <laughs> Out of our hair. And, like, her cutscene is so completely unnecessary. She's not offering you any help. It's, like, it's not even like she's telling you to do anything. Like, that would have been more fulfilling if she said, say Dexter, hi to dad no. for me. Um, because, like, at least in second gen, god damn! At least in second gen, you actually, like, she, she offered to save some of your money for you and would get you sort of rare stuff when she had a lot of it. 
And also, it was really nice to come back after the Elite Four and have, like, a bajillion dollars in your mom bank. <laughs> mom bank. Isn't that what it's called, you know? I don't know. My parents are my parents are a mom and dad bank. <laughs> <sighs> it's a zigzagoon. We haven't fought one of these yet. No, we haven't. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want to catch it just for pickup, but I feel like, god damn it, I shouldn't have run. Shouldn't I'd, have ran. Whatever. Oh, I thought I'd just got into another encounter, but it was <laughs> You'd have been pissed. Aw, the Poochiena. I'm not going to catch it, but I just want to see which one it is. The one that I got in my test recording had Thunderfang. That shit's useful. Oh, yeah. Paralysis and chance to flinch. And just the fact that you fight it's a birds lightning occasionally. Move. Especially when there's so many Wingle trainers early on. It doesn't tell me. I don't care. But, anyway, this is actually a good place to end. We're having some technical difficulties for reasons unknown. So we're actually going to end the episode here so that we can figure that out and come back on our next episode. Yeah. So thank you all for joining us. Sorry for the random cuts, but, you know. Not exactly the best way to put your best series, foot forward. But that's alright, we'll figure it out. <laughs>